All right, Capricorn. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or Jupiter placements, this reading may resonate with you. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn for the week. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome here into this reading for the sign of Capricorn. All right, so we've got the gong, an exciting event. You got the eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. You also have the owl, good advice from a wise person. You got the cup, uh, you should accept valid criticism and the younger woman. Um, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you, Cappy. All right, what is this gong? An exciting event for Capricorn. Eight of Cups. <laughs> okay, tell me more. Are you walking away from something emotionally? Are you disconnected from something? Are you going on a soul's journey, Capricorn? Okay, and this is exciting. You're like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> okay. Tell me more, please. The gong. Or Capricorn. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It's kind of coming out a little bit. Mm, damn, in reverse. And the Six of Cups. Some of you guys could be walking away from a past person, maybe an Aries Leo Sag, who could be like pushy, overbearing, demanding, demanding, someone who could be bolt like a bully or just jealous or mean spirited. Okay. An exciting event. A wheel of fortune. So there is some type of faded change here, positive change. Okay. Why is the Six of Cups here? This could be someone you have history with. For some of you guys, this could be a child. This could be someone you've known since your childhood. The Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are turning your back on someone who uh, is just, um, just not very nice or jealous, or they try to bully you, or manipulate you. This could be someone who's promiscuous. This could be someone who's, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're disconnecting from someone in the past, and you're turning your back, and you're, you're, this is, I picked up on this message in the very beginning of your read, and I didn't say it, because I was going to see what cards came out, but some of you guys, if this is someone who, like, you may have felt a connection to, whether it was a sex-based connection, or just someone who, you felt like Six of Cups, like, oh, this, you know, I have history with this person. You could still have emotions for this person, but this is like that energy of like, you feel like I could finally like, like someone may have done something too that was like, all right, yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool. You know, like I, I can disconnect from this, you know. Okay, so show me... I hope that made sense. Show me triumph over troubles and obstacles. Like somebody may have done something that was just like very low vibrational or you're just kind of like, I love you, but I got to walk away from you. There's also something coming in from something that you may have done in the past. Um, maybe something that you've been waiting on coming into fruition, but I definitely see you like disconnecting from a person also. Okay, but there is some type of faded positive change here that I feel like you've been waiting on and this comes when you start looking towards your future and not towards your past. Even if there is emotions there, I love you, but I gotta walk like... I, I need to disconnect from you because you're fucking my energy up or something. Show me triumph over troubles and obstacles. There goes the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Page of Cups. What else? Triumph over troubles and obstacles. 
Oh, Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, tell me more. Some of you guys could have, I don't know if this is an apology coming in or there's a new person in your life with the Page of Cups. This could be like a secret admirer, whether you're secretly admiring someone or someone new who you could be talking to. Um, for some of you guys, if this is a child, like you may feel like your child lacks ambition or lacks goals in some type of way, or they're lazy. That was me. It could be an adult child. I don't know. Or you just feel like someone here is naive. And they poor planning. Tell me more. Page of Cups again. Page of Cups is here twice in the upright with the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be a message of good news coming in with this Page of Cups. Maybe this is something you didn't plan or expect. Or something like you lost motivation for. But the Ten of Pentacles is like an inheritance, a financial windfall. Um, what's this Page of Cups energy spirit? The Three of Wands. Whatever this is, this is something you've waited on. Again, it's here. Something that you did in the past or something involving children. I guess it could be like child support or uh, what is that? Taxes or something. But the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles, this is like a change. Something that you, I feel like you've been waiting on is coming in. And it has something to do with children or something from the past. A strong presence of children in the past here. And I don't feel like you expected this or you planned for this or somebody here could have been. Okay, let's see what that page of wands is then in the reverse. Because you got the queen of wands in the reverse and the page of wands in the reverse. So what's the page of wands in the reverse? The eight of swords. And the knight of swords in the reverse. Damn. It's like you were in your head or someone here was in their head about a missed opportunity. Someone here could have been very rude, malicious, tactless, okay? A liar. Could be this Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, Air, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be. But whoever this Page of Wands in the reverse is, it's like someone did not plan or they... You know, there, someone here could be receiving some type of bad news because they were rude, they were tactless, they, someone could have been trying to keep you fucking stuck, you know, feeling uninspired, unable to create, unable to take action. You're going to, you're going to overcome this, triumph over troubles and obstacles. I feel like you had someone here who was like kind of jealous of you or envious of you or someone who was trying to keep you stuck, someone who could have been rude, tactless, lied on you. They tried to keep you from like feeling inspired. They wanted to make you feel stuck. Or they just didn't plan. All right, let me move on. You got the owl. Good advice from a wise person. Y'all be sure to hit the like button if this reading is resonating with you or you guys like me doing your guys' signs. Um, all right, we got the owl. Good advice from a wise person. The Wheel of Fortune coming out sideways. Eight of Wands upright and the Six of Wands. Good advice from a wise person. Why is the wheel coming out crazy like Queen of Cups? There could have been some type of delays here. I don't know if you got some type of advice. Whatever this is, the Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, something is progressing. Something is moving forward. The Six of Wands is success, victory. It could be, you know, some type of public recognition, awards, scholarships, whatever. The world is also a success, achievements, okay? Queen of Cups, someone who's mature, loving, compassionate, caring, and kind. A mother figure possibly doesn't have to be. Father figure, don't pay attention to the gender, but it is feminine energy. Um, 
I see you successfully closing out a cycle or something here that's, there was some type of delays. I don't know what this good advice from a wise person is. For all of you guys, it's going to be different. And for whoever it's supposed to resonate with, you'll know. So I don't know if you've got some advice from someone. Some of you guys, this could have been through like a spiritual download as well. Or like a, you know, some type of a download. Intuitive download. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Something here about your money, your finances, your, your job. If you're building a business or you have your own business or you're just working on something, I see your Pentacles, your money increasing, okay? There's some type of success and achievement coming in and it's gonna come in quick, but I feel like there was a slight delay. You should accept valid criticism. Why is this here for Kathy? You should not a cups. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. I just want you to know, yes, and the Empress. Beautiful. Okay, so there could be new love or there's a blessing coming in, some type of wish fulfillment. This could lead to emotional bliss, okay? Emotional fulfillment. Um, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups is Ten Cups. Okay, it could lead to marriage, especially with the Empress. There's a lot of fertility here. Ace of Cups and the Empress. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of fertility. It could be a pregnancy for some. doesn't have to be. But this is some type of a wish coming true. Why should Capricorn accept valid criticism? Because I feel like someone here is very abundant, uh, fertile. Oh, Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Hmm. What's the Five of Pentacles? So it's almost like someone here had to leave one situation behind or a person or even for some type of a new opportunity. What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I don't know who this other person is. But there's some type of like stress, anxiety, fear, un, un feeling overwhelmed or bored or discontent. You should accept all the criticism. The five of wands in the reverse. So there's some type of compromise, a change here. There's strong feminine energy through this whole reading. So I don't know if I'm picking up on a feminine. Let me see what this younger woman is because that's on feminine too. Show me dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Nine of Cups. King of Cups in the reverse. Pisces energy. Tell me more. So there's someone here who I feel like, uh, King of Cups in the reverse, Death card in the reverse. I feel like there's someone here who, what is this Nine of Cups? Who has like, who's like emotionally unavailable, maybe even feeling emotionally overwhelmed or could be someone who's like ungrounded emotionally or even emotionally manipulative who has some type of fear of change and they're trying to balance something out. Show me the Nine of Cups. The Fool card. So this person could have started something new or took some type of a risk towards wish fulfillment and they feel stuck 
in some type of way or they feel like their hands are tied. Someone here may be trying to balance out their finances or be resourceful when it comes to finances. Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, energy is here strong. Why do they feel stuck? They could be feeling like over, overly stressed, overworked, overburdened. Maybe because of some type of cause and effect of life lessons here. Hmm. For some of you guys, this could be like a daughter, like a grown daughter, or you could be a mother. I don't know which way this goes, but someone here could be like asking for some type of support or assistance, maybe financially to find some type of a peaceful resolution. And I don't know if someone's like rejecting or you're rejecting this person, like, no, you got to figure this out on your own. Um... Yeah, someone could have made some type of impulsive plans or did something like I feel like somebody was like wanting something it was like a wish or a dream or a hope and someone here feels stuck because they didn't think something through um, poor planning I don't feel like this is gonna like Whatever this is, I don't feel like this is going to be, like, completely detrimental. It could cause somebody to, like, have some type of struggles around finances or just stressed. Some type of a risk that someone took. Yeah, I feel like I think I said it all that I see. Yeah, I just feel like someone here may have to like sit with their choices or something. Or it's to create some type of change because somebody here is like not, there's some type of like dependency here. So something here is fair, something here is just, it's just someone's going to have to struggle and possibly be resourceful and they may feel like their hands are tied because of some type of a risk that they took, but ultimately somebody could have advised this person like, hey, don't do that. It's a bad idea. 
It's a bad idea, right? <laughs> but I mean, whatever this is, I feel like someone will overcome this. It's just they're going to have to, like, maneuver carefully. And someone could be asking for some type of support or assistance, maybe from you. Anyways, I feel like I'm going to let this reading go. Hmm. Alright, what else do we got for Capricorn for this week? What else do we got for Capricorn? Positive work outcomes. Uh, consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. So maybe, you know, I kind of see something like, I don't know. I'm not going to try to figure it out. But love. Love is in the air. Great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. And... Major life change. Time is right for major life changes. A new lifestyle or location brings great joy and trouble-free existence. I kind of see somebody like disconnecting from something that's, you know, overbearing, getting away from conflict or things that stress someone out or someone's worried because maybe somebody's like rejecting someone and they're not like fighting or they're not arguing or they're just like whatever this is that's going on there's something here needs to change and it's going to create balance show me death in the reverse ten of cups in the reverse magician in the reverse good lord so someone here could be trying like dealing with like manipulative family, dysfunctional family. You know, there's some type of manipulation here, wasted talent. Someone here is not changing. And it's creating some type of unhappiness. I'm gonna leave this here. I hope that this helps someone out there. If it did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.